Today we're going to be having a look at Moshe Dayan, who is a IDF Chief of Staff and Israel Military Leader. And this is uh, from Hobby Master, the Legend Series, 12-inch action figure line that they've been doing, 1-6 scale. Now there's a short biography on the inside of the box on the opening flap, which I'll put on the screen right now. So if you'd like to pause it and read that, you can do so at your leisure. All right, now looking at the figure, this is the second figure that I have from the Hobby Master 12-inch uh, figure line, the Legend series. The first one was Bud Anderson, who I did a review of uh, a month or two ago. Here's Bud Anderson in here for height comparison. You can see they're about the same height. And then I think Moshe Diane might be slightly shorter, but I can't tell if they use the same body, the same exact body or not. I'm not positive of that. But I will tell you that the body that they use is really nice. It's tightly jointed. You won't have any problems getting any poses out of these guys. They're not going to, you know, if you put his arm up, it's not going to fall down again. It's, I've said this in the other video too. This is whatever the body type they're using is, is actually really nice. So here you can see the detail on his face. I think they got a really nice sculpt in here. I'm going to put a few pictures on the side here so that you can see um, comparison wise. This is based on, I'm going to guess his younger days because I've seen a few documentaries and things on YouTube that were filmed uh, either in the 70s or the 80s. I want to say probably the late 70s because he died in 1981. But uh, obviously he looked much older in those. So this is based on a younger appearance. And the eye patch is removable. So if you don't want that on, you don't have to have it on. It comes off. It's on a, um, a small elastic band like that. So, you know, it comes separate in the package so you can put it on yourself. But, you know, really cool accessory. As far as articulation goes, you get plenty of movement in the head, the neck, a lot of great range of motion. His arms and his shoulders, nice and tight. They move really well. He's got uh, double jointed elbows in there. Wrists move, hinge, swivel, all that good stuff. Seems like there's a little extra padding inside the figure to kind of fill him out a little bit more. So he's not quite as thin as Bud Anderson was. Um, the legs also double jointed knees and uh, move back and forth side to side get a lot of great range of motion out of them you won't have any problems posing this figure the only difference I think I found with Bud Anderson is that he's got these boots on so he doesn't have ankle joints the way that Bud does but that's because of the boots the way they're molded you can see they go all the way up so you know you're not going to get too much range of motion out of the ankles because the boots are a hard plastic but the plus side to that is he can stand up pretty well by himself without needing a stand and there you go so much like the Bud Anderson figure this one comes with a lot of really good accessories that I'll show you here this is the stand he comes with it's a two-part stand like a lot of the 12 inch figures come with um, you just slide the stand part into the plastic here and there you go that's what it'll use as a stand this one has the nameplate on it you can see right there very nice nice detail he has this water bottle with the top that comes off like that nice little detail and it fits into this little pocket that you can put on his belt and the pocket has velcro straps to keep it secure right in there so it's not going to go anywhere once it's inside the pocket nicely done and the the way you attach it to the belt is through this velcro strap right here so that's how you get it on the belt he also includes his hat a lot like Bud Anderson's hat it's got the cardboard piece on the inside there to keep it um, formed to the shape so that way it doesn't get all crushed in the box. But nice detail on it. You can see all the detailing in the front, the leather strap, and uh, fits on the figure very nicely. Also comes with this wristwatch. Might be a little tough to see on camera because it's a small accessory, but I'll get a better picture of it. And uh, when you remove the extra hands that he comes with, you can put this on his wrist and put the hand on over it, and that's how you get it on. And uh, I'll do that right now and show you how it looks. And here he is wearing the wristwatch on his wrist. Nice little accessory. I think it's cool when they add stuff in like this for the 12-inch figure line. You can get away with doing stuff like that with figures that are bigger like this. And uh, it's just a nice detail. I really like it. He also comes with two extra hands. One is a trigger finger for his right hand, and then one is a left fist. So you'll be able to switch those out as you see fit. Moving on to some of the weaponry. Here we have the first pistol he comes with. It's a lot like the Bud Anderson pistol. It's got a uh, clip in the bottom of it comes out you can see the ammunition in there slides back in fits very nicely in the gun the hammer pulls back try and make it so you can see that a little better but the hammer pulls back like that oh and it's spring-loaded too so you'll be able to pull it back like that and when you let go 
goes right back into position. Really cool. I like that they do that with these little accessories. I think that's a really cool touch that they add. And here we have the rifle that he comes with, which is really nice. I like this a lot. It has the uh, strap that you can throw over his shoulder. It's adjustable and it's also removable. So if you don't want it, it's got these two little carabiner pieces that you can just slide up over like that. Same thing on the back end and that's how you remove it. And the strap attaches to the figure like that so you can have it over his shoulder or whatever you'd like. Also the stock on the back folds to the side of the rifle so you can have him carry it like this. Or you can put it up against the shoulder and have it fully propped against the figure's shoulder like that. These two sight things on the top, they're adjustable so you can actually put them down. You can move them upward however you want them to be. Really cool that they added that to a rifle this small. I think the detail on this is really nice. And the clip comes out. You got the ammunition right in there. And you got the hole in the bottom. So when you want to put it back in, right there, just like that. Really cool accessory. I'm really impressed with the way they did this one. Lastly, we got the revolver. And this is a really cool accessory. This is probably my favorite gun that it comes with. The amount of detail on this thing is really cool. Let me show you. You could pull back this piece right here. I don't know if you could, hopefully you can see that. There's a small piece right here above the, the hammer. If you pull that back, you can bend the whole thing front like that. Now the whole barrel is bent forward. You can take out the bullets. You can take a look at that right in there. You can see the detailing of the bullets actually in the uh, chamber there. And on the back end too, you can see. Once you got the ammo loaded into the revolver, you just push the barrel back up and slide that forward. And there you have it. Fully loaded, ready to go. Also, the revolver fits into this gun holster very nicely, just like that. Closes with a piece of Velcro. And just like with the water bottle, it's got a piece of Velcro on the back end, and that's how you attach it to his belt. So, really cool. You can attach the gun and the water bottle to his belt through those little Velcro pieces, and then you can have him holding on to the rifle or have it over his shoulder, whatever the case. Display it however you want, but you've got a lot of options. Lastly, this figure also has an assortment of medals that he comes with, too. I haven't opened them out of the package yet, but I will take a picture of them and I'll insert them right here so you can have a look. So my final thoughts. If you're interested in military history or 1-6 scale 12-inch figures with a lot of great accessories and uh, really nice attention to detail, I would say that this figure is definitely worth buying. Especially if you collect the other Hobby Master figures, for example, the Bud Anderson that I showed and that I reviewed previously. I think these figures in general go great with any kind of military 12-inch um, figures, so if you like a little higher-end action figure and you want good quality, then I would suggest you buy it. The accessories alone are really cool, and the figure itself is on a nice body and it's not going to fall out of a pose that you put him in. He's going to stay displayed exactly how you put him. So if you have any interest in political or military figures from the past and you want to uh, add some of these figures to your 12-inch collection, then I would highly recommend you look at Hobby Master's line. I'll give you the information in the description um, so you can go check out the website and you can purchase this figure or Bud Anderson or whatever else that you feel like looking at at that website. All right. Thank you for watching this. My name is Captain McKay and we will see you next time.